all right so uh welcome to this video on pvc tutor so we are starting to revise uh uh physics uh, questions uh different topics but i'll start from the simple ones from measurements volume and density some form of uh, linear linear motion a, just a bit of energy yeah, so those yeah, under multiple choice I can merge them. The first question says how many significant figures are in 2.0800? We have 2.0800. The presence of a point makes them all these significant. So it has got five significant figures. Two, which of the following contains base physical quantities only? Now base physical quantities are those quantities that occur without the combination of another unit so they are more like they are standard length in kilometers length is not measured in kilometers mass in tons mass is not measured in tons but we are looking at phys base not any other b says length in meters length yes is measured in meters is correct but mass is not measured in tons in short, the SI unit for mass is not tons. So what they are trying to look to, to look Mangan here for is the physical quantity and its SI unity. Which br brings us to D. Length is measured in meters as the SI unit, and mass is measured in kilograms as the SI unit. Three, the following diagram shows the steps that Elena carried out in order to determine the volume of the wooden cock which of which one is the volume of the wooden cock now we have the initial volume here at 50 you can see then after they have put a grass bulb okay after they have put a grass bulb there the volume raises to skis now take note they have only put one there they haven't put two so they have put one down there and the volume raises to 60 now in the third diagram we have two that means if they put another one the volume will raise to 70 because of the presence of the second bulb so this plus this down here it it was at 70. now the presence of the cock raises the volume up to 100. so we are saying it was 100 70 then 100. so the difference between these two gives us the volume of the cock which is 100 minus 70 which will give us 30 cubic centimeters the answer comes a four we'll end on question six which of the following diagram show an accelerating car now take note this is not a speed time graph but it's a distance time graph if we had a speed time graph we could have accelerating going like that but because it's a distance versus time speed becomes on the middle then acceleration goes like that so that goes with a b there the diagram below shows a light bar pr uh, pivoted at p it has been pivoted that means this is where it is turning from so it is swinging in that direction so if it's hinged here that means it's turning clockwise in that direction by this and the force f what is the reading on the neutron balance when they say the leading on the neutron balance it's the same thing as they are looking for the value of force f now we are going to use principle of moments to determine the value of f so the, let's look at the pivot the pivot is here okay so we look at force for newtons is coming from here up to where the pivot is let's call uh, this for four newton as f1 times its distance from where it is up to the, up to the pivot which is uh, d1 equal to because it's a principle of moment these two forces must be in equilibria for them to balance so the f let me call it f2 times its distance its distance to now f1 is four newton times d1 is 30 now because these two are balancing there's no need of changing distance from centimeters to meters you can just use the same centimeters equal to 
we have f2 which we don't know times d2 from where it is up to the pivot is 30 plus 20 you get 50 centimeters so we have 50 there we also have 50 there so we cancel let's call that f2 will be equal to this is 120 divided by 50 and this must give you 2.4 newtons you can check from the solution that wherever there's 2.4 b so b becomes our answer so in this case we use principle of moments which states that clockwise moment that equal to anti-clockwise what anti-clockwise moment you can tell this is going up like that while this one is going down so we have the anti-clockwise sorry the the other anti-clockwise then we have the one that is going where uh in the clockwise what direction a car is traveling on a level road suddenly the driver of the car sees a cow crossing you see a car crossing the road and it decides to apply the blacks what are the energy changes as the car as the car slows down now this is your car on the load you see a cow here and as you are moving you decide to apply blacks before hitting the car what happens you were moving so you had kinetic energy okay kinetic energy as a fact as we are applying blacks there were some form of sound made by the tires so we have sound energy sound energy as those tires were making sound if you had to touch the tires they were hot so they were also heat energy now the change is easy is from kinetic to heat to sound heat can only cause sound sound can't cause heat so that's how it does we have d there as our final answer so we end here for multiple choice i'll see in the next video for one word answers show your work